Good morning, you wonderful people of YouTube. How are you all doing on this beautiful Thursday morning? Today is Thursday, the 17th of May, 2018. My name's Jan Silver, also known as Looking on the Lighter Side of Life, and I've been video logging my journey to and beyond the gastric bypass. It's actually quite, still quite early. It's about 9 a.m., I think, so it's still quite a chill in the air. I'm just trying to sit in the sunshine so I don't get cold. Um, I hope you're all really well, healthy, and happy. Um, I'll give you my stats today. I, this morning I weighed in exactly the same as I was last week. I'm 77.5 kg, meaning I've lost 42.5 kg. Um, I'm 12 stone two today. My um, grand total loss is six stone nine pounds. Um, I am 170.9 pounds, meaning I've lost 93.7 pounds. So really chuffed with my progress you know I had a slow time at the beginning of the year but it it's it's picking up again now um, I haven't been exercising life's got crazy busy and yeah I think after my um, YouTube I'm not feeling a hundred percent today either I've had my breakfast and my vitamins this morning and it's not really sitting well with me at the moment I feel quite sicky it's not a dumping but you you just know your stomach doesn't feel right um, and I didn't do anything different and that that's kind of it's a bit like potluck with this bariatric surgery you actually don't know what's going to affect you until it does you, you I take the same medication every single day and I have the same breakfast every single day 99.9% .9 of the time I'm absolutely fine but on that, that one occasion like today I just feel a bit like I feel a bit nauseous put it that way and it's just really not settled in my tummy very well so I'm trying to have a coffee and, and hopefully it'll settle my stomach so I can go shopping um, yeah it's not so much about weight loss again today I think after doing my YouTube yesterday I left myself feeling really vulnerable and um, I didn't really realize it I guess until Harry came home last night and I felt really emotional and I think there's a lot of things going on with me emotion wise um, today for instance the family that are coming for tea tonight my mother's actually coming along too so it's a big thing for me I, I was trying to work it out this morning we had a big falling out maybe 10 years ago and I decided at that point in my life if she didn't bring positivity then I didn't want to be around anybody that didn't bring positivity if there was negative vibes and nasty words being used all the time I wasn't out for that my life is was and is in such a good place that I have no room for that negativity which is why I, I very much so if you followed my journey you'll know I can cut and run really easily and you know that old saying isn't it if I cut you off chances are you handed me the scissors so that's the kind of person I am but also what I'm not is I'm not rude so we went to the funeral on um, Tuesday and obviously that's where I saw my mother and we actually had an okay time um, I'm not going to say I'm putting out a massive olive branch to have her back in my life, N not at all. But my aunt and uncle are absolutely gorgeous. They live up north. We don't get to see them very often. It's, it's often the case, isn't it, when you've got the only time family really gets together is when you have a wedding or a funeral or a christening. And, you know, because of the hassles that have gone with my family and weddings, I tend to avoid weddings like the bloody plague, guys. I really, I don't want to, I don't want to be part of it. I don't want to have anything. I'll go to certain ones if I feel I have to, but other than that, you know, my wedding was ruined because of my family or the wedding that I planned anyway. It went well another way, but because of my family interfering and all the rest of it, I canceled what we were planning to do, etc., etc. So, um, anyway, my aunt and uncle were there and they've always wanted to, they haven't met Howie, you know, and that's, I've been with Howie nearly 20 years. So, They've always wanted to come and see the house and the garden. So I did say to Howie when I got home from the funeral, you know, our Auntie Hazel and Uncle Derek would love to come and see us. But we also know alongside that, because they're staying with my mother, is that she would come. So yeah, I think maybe I'm feeling a little bit, it's not even about anxiousness because she was actually okay on Tuesday. She didn't say anything to piss me off or and that's a, probably a first. But I think maybe I'm in a better place in my life, so I'm not so angry, um, which is a good thing, right? You know, I think beforehand, Heather might have had a drink and said something, and then I would bite back. And now I'm a bit like, you, you know, 
I'm a lot calmer and I, yeah, I'm in a good place in my life and I hope that nothing can come in and burst my bubble. That's what I'm hoping. But obviously maybe there's a little bit of, um, I don't know, maybe it's just the, kind of the unknown, I guess. It's been 10 years since she's been in my life and on the few occasions that she had apart from Tuesday, she's always done or said something really mean and nasty about me, especially about my weight. So um, yeah, because I put my story on Facebook and I, as I said it, I came out of the fridge on Facebook and told people that I'd had weight loss surgery. They clearly knew. One of my sisters, um, who I haven't seen for a long time either, said, your lipstick's um, bright. I said, oh, is it nice or not nice? And she said, it's nice. And I said, thank you. Um, at the end of the day, she asked me how much weight I'd lost. You know, we all, we all have weight issues within my family. So my mother did say, what made you go for the surgery? And I said, because I was fat. What, what else do you say? You know, I, I wanted to live a longer, healthier life. And, you know, it hasn't stopped me doing all sorts of things. I did say to my sister, though, why don't you consider it yourself? And she said, well, because we haven't all got money. I said, but you can get it on the NHS. Anyway, I wasn't going to go into the ins and outs of that. But, yeah, family time has always been a, a struggle for me because I don't, um, I don't like people very much within my family. I don't like their values and their morals, but um, for this occasion this evening, I just hope I'm gonna put on a really nice spread um, food and have some wine. Both of my children are coming. I feel really blessed that Mason and Chelsea have said yes to come and be with me because I think um, I need that. I need my family to know what a good job I've done with my children and what a good job Chelsea's doing with Willow because you know we are kind of outsiders so for them to come and see them firsthand um, they'll understand how super proud I am of my children and I yeah I want to show them off I want to I want to say this is my daughter this is what she's doing this is my son and you know so yeah today's going to be a um, or this evening they're arriving here about five o'clock so We'll see how it goes. I'm sure I'll pop the Prosecco and just drink through it. Howie's got an appointment, bless him, at 4.30 this afternoon, so he won't be here straight away. But that's fine, I can show them around the house and the garden, and then I'll have all the dinner, all, you know, dinner. I'm only doing a buffet-style salad and quiches. Um, but I'll have it all set up, and hopefully we can just have a really nice evening. So watch this space guys yeah maybe my tummy and this unsettled feeling is partly to do with that i don't know it's not normally me i don't normally give a shit to put it that way um but perhaps perhaps things are changing i i don't know i can't answer that i can't see into the future so i'm gonna try and enjoy today all the coffee all the positive vibes from you guys please the one good thing is Heather did say, my mother did say, she's going to drive tonight so Hazel and Derek don't have to. So that means she won't be drinking, which is probably a really good thing that, because obviously she gets a bit nasty when she's drunk. So that's probably a really um, sensible thing that my mother's done is to come over and, you know, and who knows, we'll, we'll see where it goes. I'll be wishing the time away for my husband to get home, I know that much. Anyway guys, um, I've rambled a bit and I just kind of wanted to put it out there. This is how I feel today and um, I hope you're all really well, healthy and happy. I hope, like I always say, that the sun is shining on you guys. It's the most beautiful day here. Um, I'm struggling by the way, my boobs are losing and I'm struggling with these summery tops and what to wear but Dawn had given me a good idea to buy one, one of the Bando bikinis. Um, so that you don't have a bra strap as such. So I think having a bikini on is a bit better than no bra, but yeah, it's one of those things. Um, I was gonna quickly say about restriction as well, that yesterday was the first time in a long time that actually my restriction kicked in stupidly. And I wonder if it's a little bit of maybe anxiety. I don't know, you know, I had some smoked mackerel and couscous for my tea. It was lazy because my husband was out. And I ate the fish, two mouthfuls of couscous, and I was poof, done. And I haven't had that restriction kick in for a long time, so I'm grateful it's back. Um, I will always embrace that, that restriction because that's what the weight loss surgery was all about for me. So yes, guys, um, if anybody's got any questions whatsoever about anything, pop them down below. I will get back to you. I hope um, 
everybody's okay wherever they are in their journeys and uh, I will chat to you all again very soon possibly check in again tomorrow and let you know how it went with my mother fingers crossed it all goes well <laughs>